Here we have another linear inequality in two variables. Now, you can graph this just like an equation, and perhaps you want to do that. Go ahead and find the x and the y intercepts. Wouldn't be that bad. But we still are going to have to solve for y so that we know if we're going to shade above or below. At least, I think that's a pretty safe way of doing this. So I think the best thing for us is to go ahead and solve this inequality for y. Now, first things first, just add the x to both sides. So we have a negative 2y is greater than or equal to x plus 6. And then divide everything by the coefficient of y, so divide everything by negative 2. Now keep in mind that since we divided by a negative, this inequality symbol is going to change direction. So this is now going to be y is less than or equal to negative 1 half x minus 3. Now from here we should be able to get a lot of good information. We know that the slope is equal to a negative 1 half and the y-intercept is the ordered pair 0, negative 3. From here we can also find out if we're going to be solid or dashed. Look at this inequality. Will this inequality give us something that is a solid or a dashed line? Well, since we do have the equal to part here, that means it will be a solid line. And when we solved for y, we see that y is less than or equal to, so that means I'm going to shade below. Okay, So we have all of these pieces of information here, and that is more than enough for us to graph our, well, to graph our inequality. So let's start here. The y-intercept is 0, negative 3. So here's 0, negative 3. I'm using a fill it in circle because I get that equal to option here, which is very nice. My slope is negative one half, so down one to the right two. Put all these nice points here. The more points we have, the more accurate we can be. And then we just need to draw the line. So here's our line, and this inequality told us that we needed to shade below. Alright, so everything below this line, and including the line, will be part of our solution set. So it should look something just like this. That really shouldn't be too bad. You graph this line as though it weren't an equation from before. It's solid, and we shade below. And we're done. Now let's try to take a look at this next inequality. Suppose we have just y is greater than or equal to 3. If y is greater than or equal to 3, we know all we have is a horizontal line. So we have a horizontal line We know that it will be a solid line. Why do we know that? That's right, because of the equal to part. And we will shade where? Well, since it says y is greater than, that means we're going to be shading above. So, all we have here is a horizontal line going through 3. Solid, shade above, and there we go. No problems, right? 